क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इफ टू पावर एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर पावर वाई इज इक्वल टू एट पावर जेड एंड वन अपॉन टू एक्स प्लस वन अपॉन फोर वाई प्लस वन अपॉन फोर जेड इज इक्वल टू फोर देन वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स नाउ टू पावर एक्स फोर पावर वाई कैन बी रिटर्न एस टू पावर टू होल पावर वाई एट पावर जेड कैन बी रिटर्न एस टू पावर थ्री होल पावर जेड Further, it can be written as two power x is equal to two power two y is equal to two power three z. Now, from first two terms, as the base is same, so exponent will be same. X is equal to two y. Y value will be equal to x by two. Similarly, if we take first and third, as the base is same, so exponent will be same. So x value will be equal to three z. Z will be equal to x by three. Now substituting this value of y and z in this given condition, one upon two x plus one upon four y is replaced by x by two plus one upon four z is replaced by x by three is equal to four. This can be written as one upon two x. This cancels. We are left with one upon two x again plus. This will be equal to this three will go go into numerator. We get three upon four x is equal to four. That implies if we take the LCM four x is the LCM, we get two plus two plus three is equal to four. That implies two plus two is four. Four plus three is seven. Seven upon four x is equal to four. X will be equal to seven upon sixteen. This will be our final answer. Question number two: The first and the last term of an AP are 28 and 31. If the sum of its term is 236, then the number of terms will be. Now we know that the sum of AP, the formula is sum is equal to when the first and last term is given n by a2 first plus last term. So sum is given to be 236. 236 is equal to n by a2 first term is 28 and last term is 30. One, so two thirty six is equal to n by two into twenty eight plus thirty one will be fifty nine. So that implies n value will be two into two thirty six upon fifty nine. This cancels with four. We get our value as n is equal to two into four is eight will be our answer. Option A is correct answer. What is one plus cot alpha minus cosecant alpha into one plus tan alpha plus secant alpha? Now, from the first bracket, one as it is, cot alpha can be written as cos alpha upon sin alpha minus cosecant alpha can be written as one upon sin alpha. Similarly, this can be written as one plus tan alpha can be written as sin alpha upon cos alpha. Plus cosecant alpha can be written as one plus cos alpha. Now LCM here, sine alpha is LCM. Sine alpha plus cos alpha minus one, and here the cos alpha is LCM. Cos alpha plus sine alpha plus one. Now this can be written as sine alpha plus cos alpha minus one. Upon this can be multiplied sine alpha into cos alpha. This can be written as sine alpha plus cos alpha plus one. Now here we see we can apply the formula of a minus b and a plus b. That is a square minus b square. So this can be written as sine alpha plus cos alpha square minus one square upon. Sin alpha into cos alpha. Now sin alpha plus cos alpha whole square. This will be a square plus b square plus two ab minus one upon sin alpha into cos alpha. Now we know that sin square alpha plus cos square alpha is one. So one plus two sin alpha. Cos alpha minus one upon sine alpha into cos alpha. This cancels. We are left with two sine alpha cos alpha upon 
sin alpha cos alpha this cancel so 2 will be our final answer option c is question correct. number 4 a scheme like buy 5 get 6 on the same kind of article with the same mark price offers a dash discount now we have purchased 5 and get 6 so free is 1 so 1 upon Total is 6 into 100, that is 100 upon 6, which is 16, 2 by 3 percent will be our answer. Option B is correct. Question number 5, the mean of 8 number is 22 and if one number is excluded, then their mean is 16. We have to find the excluded number. Now, firstly, we have mean of 8 number is 22. So, total will be 8 into 22, that is 176. Now, one number is excluded. So, we are left with 7 and now total will be mean is given to be 16. 7 into 16, 112. Now, if we subtract them, we get 64. So, 64 was that excluded number. Option D is the correct answer. This is the homework question. A number when multiplied by 5 times of itself gives value equal to 1445. Find the number. Write your answer in the comment section. We will meet in the next video. Thanks.